call misses and rebounded by Zador. Wildcats look lost offensively here in the first few minutes of the first half. And right as I say that, a nice pull up jump shot from the outside by Jarek Harding. Nine on the clock. Jardine puts it on the floor, drives, creates contact, kicks it out. Averitt with five, four, puts it up. No good. Eman Olajapoke got a finger on it. Instead, here come the Wildcats. Beautiful. Nice dish. And an excellent finish at the rack by Tim Foles. Got the pickpocket. Kozak, Hardy. Hardy with the drive. Whistle called. No shot. On the floor, they're going to call this one on the big fella, Brandon Morley. Yeah, they absolutely have. I mean, the injury bug has, has hit them a little bit. And, you know, I'm a little bit partial to centers being a, a center myself. But getting those rebounds and having a big presence down low is, is massive. And, and Morley is going to be a big key here. Jarek Harding with the three. Now the Wolverines. J.J. Overton slipping in the key. Harding, beautiful stroke. Slight rotation. It finds the bottom of the net. Starting this game has has turned the Wildcats over and over, and I know that won't make Randy Ray very happy at all. Hopefully they can continue this energy. The Wolverines, but on the other side, a quick beautiful, beautiful play there by Woodbury. Wildcats with a little over seven to play here in the first half. Trailing 19-13 to the Wolverines. Harding again finding his way in the key. This time he gets the left-handed floater to fall. But you certainly need to see some, some overall help there from, from the bench and others to contribute. All alone in the post. Big fella with the cradle and the finish. Cassin Jardine, TJ Washington. Washington, Woodbury with the spin move. Lost it. Weaver State has it. Great play by Cunningham. Now Barnes. With a teardrop and the first lead of the game for the Wildcats, Israel Barnes. Utah Valley now very strong with the force defensively. 34-26, locking down the Wildcats. And as soon as I say that, Wildcats strike. And who else but Jarek Harding? 36-29, Wolverines. Davis. Galupo. Woo! Beautiful crossover there from Harding. And Harding with a nice finish on the left hand. Yeah, very, very nice move there. Uh, I have a feeling that that's not the only chance that Overton's going to get the rest of the evening. A little bit over 12.30 left to play. 38-34. Wolverines have a four-point lead. Harding steps back, lets it fly with the left hand again. And he's starting to heat up here. He is definitely starting to heat up. A lot of confidence as he let that one fly. What a, what a great finish. 40-37. Wolverines on top. Wildcats trying to respond. Less than 12 to play here in the first half. A lot of players slipping. Hardy not slipping at all. Stepping straight into another three as he drains it. Nothing but net there. Looked like Fuller went straight over the back on Woodbury. Instead, a fresh shot clock for the Wildcats. Harding drives and he gets it to go. Largest lead now for the Wildcats, 48. Weaver State has made four of their last five field goals. Nice, beautiful drive and dish, reverse layup, and the foul for Jarek Harding. Here is the first free throw. First free throw of the whole game coming with eight minutes left to go in the whole game. Averitt trying to pick the pocket of Hardy. Davis switching it up. Harding again exploding to the rim. And one counted again for Harding. Back to back opportunities for the three point play. Harding going back to the charity stripe. Cass will go to Kozak. Fuller. Of course, Harding with the left-handed stroke, rattles it home. Harding ice cold tonight. It's going to take a miracle for the Wolverines to come back into this one. And a foul called against J.J. Overton. Harding has, has definitely proven to tap ice in his veins throughout the course of this game, that's for sure. Harding currently sitting at 29 points. 
Make that 30. Dropping a 30 bomb on Utah Valley tonight. Jared Harding, 12 of 19 from the floor, four of eight from three, and two of three from the free throw, trying to make it three of four, which he does. 31 points, 63, 67. Weaver State clinging to a four point lead. And they try to inbound here. Utah Valley, no foul. Weaver State doing a great job of playing keep away. Harding finally fouled by Overton with 29.6 seconds left. And Harding does, makes the first free throw, 32 points for Harding. And Harding misses the second. The Utah Valley trails by three, fouled in the corner. And Harding will go again to the free throw line. Not close to that, but still, nonetheless, very impressive evening. Now with 33 points. And make that 34. Slam dunk. 67-70, and another foul with 10 seconds left. This one on Hobza. And that's going to send KJ Cunningham to the line. No, I beg your pardon. They're going to keep it Harding. Cunningham and Harding were right next to each other. Harding, after the timeout, takes a deep breath and sinks the first free throw, making it a two-possession game. 35 points, Harding again with another deep breath. And he sinks it again, 36 points.